and a very good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Friday. Uh, hugely exciting, of course, particularly here in the UK because we've got the start of a bank holiday weekend, uh, which means an extra day off for lots of people. And we've got some nice weather finally here in the UK as well. So there's lots to be happy about. And we have got a brand new product to bring to you here on Crafters TV as well uh, because it is launch day. I must just say to you as well that we have launched today our um, uh, spend and save um, event, which is absolutely brilliant. Basically, if you spend over £30, $30, 30 euros, uh, you will get an extra £5, $5 or €5 Euros off your basket. Um, it's one checkout per customer. but. That is something which you might use on this show because, as I say, a brand new launch of a range I think you are going to absolutely love. In fact, I know that you are already loving it because we sneak... Uh, sort of teased this earlier on on Wake Up Call and almost a quarter of the launch day stock has already gone. I am talking about the brand new Jigsaw Die Collection and you are going to, if you've not seen this and indeed bought this already, be putting this in your baskets. I have no doubt. I'm excited. I'm a ooh, 12 out of 10 at least over the other side of the studio. Uh, um, a, a lady who is even more excited, I think, about this launch. She, I can see her in my monitor. She is jiggling and wiggling over there with excitement. Well, she, either that or she needs a toilet. Uh, it's the lovely Debbie Fisher. How excited are you, Mrs? <laughs> do you know what? I'm super excited, <laughs> babe, because I love a jigsaw puzzle. And do you know why? Because I'm so rubbish at them. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know when there's something that you just love Oof. to do? These are the best things I've seen in a long time, purely because of their shapes, because of what you can do with them. I've got so many demos planned, honestly, but I'm going to show you a few of the cards just to get you excited. Yes. Uh, because, yeah, I just want to uh, just get launching with these amazing dies. So you can actually make just beautiful cards like this uh, using your style. You can see it's an actual jigsaw in there. It just adds something really, really different to your cards. And then if I bring this one in, look at that, the actual jigsaw piece itself. Uh, our, 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 our queen there, Rob. Of, uh, of zooming in. Charlotte's getting um, excited, look, getting right in there. Yeah, but can you see these sentiments at the bottom? All these sentiments are amazing, Ben, and I know you've got boards to show, but honestly, they go with everything. I adore this. Friendship keeps us together, which is amazing. Uh, then we've got the gorgeous balloon one, so obviously for parties, for your birthdays, for celebration. And I have to say, this is one of my favourite cards. Look how gorgeous this is for a Christmas card. Mm. Can you imagine having this? Because because, and why I say this, and I think a lot of people will think the same, this Christmas is going to be a best one for a lot of people because it's going to be a Christmas, fingers crossed, I've got everything crossed, that we're going to get together. So this is almost, we could send Christmas cards out about peace in the family together. So uh, oh, I really I love, love that. that. Yes. How cool is that? You can put all love your... love that. Yes. Did that just yes. bring to mind? Or was that no, I was thinking of? that before. When I see this Christmas card, I thought, what a great idea because lots of families are going to be getting together this year that they could couldn't do last year, send them a Christmas card with a picture of the family and then literally do a sentiment saying peace in the family together this Christmas. Do you know what I think you could do with that as well? So I've just thought of an idea and you, you might think oh, this is on, a bit rubbish on, because it's the speech bubble. Yep. What you could do is like make the card and leave the speech bubble blank but then have like you could have all the jigsaw puzzle pieces to put back in then people have to piece it all together to work yes. out what the sentiment is in there. <gasps> I love that. That's a brilliant idea. Yes. Thanks. So you could do an invite. So yes. But they've got to put Piece it, it together. Yes, they've got to put it in. Oh my goodness, we really just that's very clever. That's Thank that's you. so clever. It's nearly, nearly as clever. No, it's not that clever, Ben. I just say it's Thank you. nearly. Craig's Craig. clapping. Craig's clapping. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Good night. I didn't get a clap. I didn't get a clap for mine. Oh. But actually, that's that's oh, that, oh, oh, Craig's blowing kisses. There you go. <laughs> uh, one more. Let's just show you this one. Creating apertures with them. So uh, having a look through there. I mean, look at this. You are my missing piece. Aww. How gorgeous is that? So honestly, Ben, we're going to have a great two hours because this is just a brilliant launch, and I already know that you are loving it. Absolutely, and already you have got some stunning ideas thanks to Debbie and me. 
Why are we not on the product development? Why team? are we not? That's why I'm <laughs> going straight there after the show to the product development office and demanding that we get our place on that team. But here's the brilliant thing, right? You're getting this full collection uh, of these multimedia as well. Don't forget, multimedia uh, jigsaw dies. The whole collection is stunning because as you can see, you're going to get the ability to make your 10 piece star. You've then got that speech bubble, that statement jigsaw as we've called it. I mean, no collection would be complete without a beautiful butterfly. There's some really really interesting shapes here as well and really usable ones as well you look at the hearts that you've got the balloon jigsaw I absolutely love uh, and then you've also got the actual um, puzzle piece itself that missing piece not only that we're also going to give you your adhesive and you're going to get an eight piece stamp set included as well which has got um, some really cute sentiments to work with your jigsaw um, with your jigsaw puzzle uh, sentiments like, for example, you complete me, uh, why fit in when you're born to stand out, you are my missing piece uh, and friendship keeps us together. So that's a really, really nice added extra that you get with this collection. Super simple um, to use. Uh, if you haven't already got mount board as well, that's something that you definitely need to pop into your basket. We've got that available on the show for you too. But listen, this is a brilliant deal, right? Because it should be 87.92 or 103.14. You're already making the saving you're seeing on screen. So every Everybody will pay £66 or $85. Scratch that because we know the majority of you are platinum, so you will be paying uh, just $52.80 or $68. And here's the other brilliant thing uh, with our Spend More, Save More event. If you haven't yet checked out and, and used that, because this is over that £30 or $30 threshold, if you're using this for the first time, you can get an extra £5 off that as well. So that would come down to $47.80 or $63. So a really, really good day to be shopping with us. Um, I love it. I think it's a fantastic collection. Um, so let us see how easy it is to work with this. As always, very busy. And if you want to ask any questions, get those in on Facebook and YouTube, and we will tackle them over the course of the next couple of hours. But where do we get started, Debbie? Which one are you going to be using first? So to start with, we're not going to do, be, be doing much at all because I really want you to see the concept of them, how they cut, what you would do with them. Uh, and then we're going to go in to do more uh, intricate, detailed with them, uh, detailed demos with them. So this one I love. I love the fact it's a jigsaw shape yeah. as well as having these jigsaw pieces inside these are all usable which is great so as much as we're leaving them together we're putting them through they're also a thick mixed media die it means that we can put them through mount board uh, and it means that they will cut beautifully so my first thing I've got I've just got a beautiful photo sorry I turned that round so uh, this Craig I see our Craig had this earlier um, so uh, oh, did Craig did this one I think Craig might have done this um, one yeah. but uh, we're just in case you didn't join this morning because I know people are just joining us uh, Craig's stuck this beautiful picture on uh, and uh, I'm gonna just put my jigsaw puzzle into it so uh, I'm gonna pop it there so we just sort of catch where it is so you can put it anywhere on the picture and we're gonna run it through our Gemini now I'm gonna use my large Gemini but my Gemini junior uh -huh. um, I've put this mounted it onto mount ball so it's a nice really thick piece because it's going to be um, uh, because it's gonna be usable and people are going to put it together I'm then going to add actually underneath so I am going to add in my metal shim and then all you're going to need is your plastic shim and your top cutting plate and we're going to run that through so as simple as that Ben it literally is a case of putting it onto you could just use a thicker cardstock if yeah. you haven't got mount board although we do have mount board on the show we do. Um, or you uh, and yeah you can just use them as puzzles which is great so you can see there, if I just pop that out, it will all stay into one piece, more or less, which is quite good. So It's good if, you, it, if you're Craig, because um, he, he took it all to pieces earlier on. It took him about five minutes to put the jigsaw back together. So I have, I have another plan for that. So when you've got all these bits together, you can put them on a card like this. How gorgeous is that card? I mean, it really is beautiful. Mm. I think it's possibly one that Craig did do. So I just wanted to show how they cut together, how all these pieces now feel like a proper, I mean, real proper puzzle pieces. Um, and I'm so excited about that. But what I was thinking is when I looked at that, what about having your printed image? And let me take that away. Can you see? We've cut the puzzle piece out. Let's move this to the side. I've cut the puzzle piece out. But 
then when all your bits are not where they should be or you want to do that puzzle, this is a great way of getting your kids to learn how to do a puzzle because then you can just start piecing on top of where they are and then they can just follow where they are. And it's a really good eye and hand coordination way to really help kids uh, to be able to do those puzzles. And then once they've done it and they've put all those pieces on, yeah. they can then take it apart and see they've, what shape they've created. But with something like that, it's almost like jigsaw decoupage. Oh, so, oh, well. yes. Now we could do that. Oh. I mean, seriously, oh what's happened goodness. to this? I've been hanging jigsaw around with you guys Jigsaw decoupage, much. that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Yes. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so you could do the heart shape or whatever shape you want. Then you could cut it again, but just have the little bits in the middle. Then yeah. add another bit yep. on top. <gasps> I mean, I love that. I love that. There. But yeah, so, and you can see, we're literally, take, what, 10 minutes in? Oh. And uh, we're coming up with all these ideas. And I've still got so many to show you. So that's how basic they work uh, and how these will cut those mixed medias. And I'm also going to show you how we can make some fridge magnets as well. Love that yes. idea. Uh, I'm not even kidding you. It's probably because all of the great ideas, you know, they're coming from <laughs> this side of the studio for once. Uh, <laughs> a quarter of the stock has already gone. Not joking yet. This is flying out the door. And why wouldn't it be? I think if you've already used the um, the jigsaw dies that we brought to you previously, you're, you're going to know how easy it is to work with these, um, you know, how craftable these are as well. And this collection is just brilliant. Whilst I think, you know what, 10, 12, 11 piece jigsaws, they're going to be great for little puzzles. I think you're going to be using these more uh, for sort of decorative elements, but maybe as, as, as uh, compared to the previous jigsaw puzzles we brought you. But whichever way you use them, it is a great deal. Loads of you coming in with loads of comments already. One thing I will bring to you is the um, the mount board as well, which is definitely worth going for. Shall I just open this up? Because we've got all the different colours in, or shall, will I get in trouble? I'll do it. Um, so with this, you're going to get um, 10 sheets of your A4, five different colours. Um, two of each. So uh, again, something, if you've already got this, I, I do still think, again, it's going to be worth coming in to grab more, just simply for the fact we, it seems that we can never keep hold of our mount board. Um, so grab it whilst it's here. Hang on a minute. There we go. One colour, two, three, it should be five, four, Five. There we go. Two of each. Uh, nine ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. Or if you decide to yourself, do you know what? I love using my um, my jigsaw dies. I want to get loads. It's on a four for thirty or, or forty dollar deal. But that is definitely worth popping into your basket um, if you are running low or if you're getting this collection today. You, you need this. It's an absolute need. Nine ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. Um, if you want to go for that individually, uh, Robbie already saying excited to see the new puzzle dies. Uh, Wanda says I already bought these first thing this morning, and my birthday was yesterday. So happy birthday to me! Happy birthday, Wanda. Uh, Fran says I saw them. I had to have them. Uh, I've been getting photos to start playing. I'm excited too. Uh, just like Debbie. Uh, and already even more great suggestions coming in. Susan on Facebook just saying you could send each family member a piece of the puzzle to bring with them to a gathering. Uh, when you're all there, you join all the pieces together. I love, oh, that. I love that. That's such a cute idea. Um, keep those ideas coming in. By the way, uh, and something else which we've got on the show, which you might want to get your hands on, uh, the score master board and the Envelope Box Creator. We saw this a little bit earlier on on Wake Up Call with Craig, and it's such a craft room essential. It really, really is. So many of you already saying that you've got these. You know, if you're wanting to be able to make uh, your own boxes, you know, create your own cards, creating those amazing Envelope Boxes as well. This is an absolute must-have. Nineteen pounds or nineteen dollars, saving thirty percent already, and you get another twenty percent off if you're platinum. Uh, so it's definitely worth jumping in for because it's fifteen pounds twenty. $15.20. Um, and really, Debbie, like we were chatting about this earlier on. These are kind of core tools really in your craft room, aren't they? Uh, for me, you can't live without them, yeah. not if you're crafting. It is an absolute essential that you have a uh, scoreboard. Uh, the scoreboard is going to do so much for you. And then to learn on top of that how to make boxes, uh, you've then got your envelope box, which you're going to learn to make envelopes. And all the creations that you can make, you'll be able to make all those own em envelopes, envelope boxes, all to put in them. Yeah, incredible. Are, uh, we, are we going straight to a demo? I sorry. think we are. You, look, you looked at me then, so oh, I sorry. thought, oh, I look perhaps at you. I should just, I just carry on. <laughs> 
Don't look at me, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's such a diva. <laughs> Don't look You've at me. changed, Debbie. You've changed. <laughs> OK, so we're going to be using the scoreboard. So actually, it was right on cue there anyway, Ben. I just wasn't sure what we were doing. But I've got a seven-inch square piece of card and I've got a eight-inch square piece of card. Now, on the seven-inch piece, I'm going to score on my left-hand side. Now, on my left-hand side, in fact, it's on the bottom. Written on the bottom, it tells me it's my box lid. And I'm going to score my box lid at one inch all the way round. So nice and simple. So each part all the way round. On the next one. And I like to just do it a couple of times because then it really does um, make sure that we get that movability in the card. It stretches those card fibres. Mm. Now, with my 8x8 eight eight piece of card, I'm going to take it to the opposite side of my board and I'm going to score this at one and a half inches, but on the opposite side. So you can see it's butted up against this side, not that side. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Now, I work this box size out by making sure that the centre part equals the centre part of the lid because that way we get a box lid that's slightly smaller because I like to see that box space underneath yeah. and it all will become clear when I show you. I even write little notes myself, look base, so I know I'm getting the right piece because I do get them the wrong way round. It wouldn't be the first time. Absolutely not, no. Not for, I mean, for everybody, generally. Uh, we yeah. see it quite a lot, don't we? Not, not just, just for me. you, Debbie. <laughs> Sorry, that came out a bit wrong. <laughs> I'm glad everyone gets it wrong. <laughs> yeah, have a topsy-turvy box. So, how do we make our box lid and our base? I'm going to grab my scissors. We are going to just trim up on this one. So, I'm going to trim up and take that tab off. And then I like to just sort of cut in there, which makes that little corner. Can you see? Beautiful mm. uh, corner there. Now, I'm not going to uh, do it all because I know that we want to show more of the jigsaws, but I just wanted to show you how we make this box that I'm going to be making. And then I'm going to bring in the pieces, exactly the same, but I've already put those extra pieces in place. Then I'm going to bring in my tape pen, and we are just going to glue all those tabs. And they're the tabs that will just fasten inside to create our little box. So nice and easy. So I thought it'd be nice to actually make a gift out of our jigsaw. So yeah. not only uh, be able to decorate our, uh, our, our actual box, but then to bring in the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. But please, if you've got any ideas, I would love to hear more uh, ideas that you've got with uh, doing your jigsaws. I absolutely love that sending out a gift. Yeah. Yeah, I that think was, that's... Uh, and it's actually got me thinking, Susan. because when we, us as a family, we all have a, um, we do table gifts. Uh, and I'm thinking that would be, I'm um, somehow incorporating that into, Christmas? yes, so we all do it like, um, you know, we ha all have our like normal Christmases with presents and that. And then when we have dinner together, yeah, we, we do. all do a table gift yeah. um, and we all say like, um, no more than 10 pounds yeah, and everyone, and no one knows who it's for. So we pick the names out of the hat. So, uh, and whoever you get chosen, you have to buy that gift for. And they've just got funnier and funnier over the years, but I'm actually thinking it would be really nice to give everybody a jigsaw piece as well in those well, with their gifts uh, to piece together but I'm trying to think what the outcome of that could be maybe like a well not a Christmas I was thinking a family barbecue or family dinner or you're invited so everyone gets that same invite yeah, when you put you the mean. puzzle together on yeah. the table my brain's just ticking over with all those bits and pieces I mean let us know your ideas I think you know, you might go, you might go well to come up with a better idea than the jigsaw decoupage. But you know, you you have a have a think, um, <laughs> have a think at home. Uh, Georgie, I'm just saying hi, Ben and Debbie. I love, love, love the jigsaw decoupage. Ingenious. Oh, it's like literally the best thing I've ever said since <laughs> I started here in September. I mean, I'm proud of that one. Um, and loads of uh, you as well telling me uh, how uh, you've already purchased this collection. Kathy just said, I've just ordered my jigsaw dies, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how to use them. I just love the fact that they are, you know, if you just do want to use them, obviously, you know, to give to someone as a jigsaw puzzle, fantastic. If you are just buying these because you're using them, you know, as decorative elements, fantastic. There's just so many different things that you can do with them. And it's so, it's so different, isn't it, Debbie? So very different to anything so, we've seen before. So different, yeah, absolutely. I just love this. I mean, we've done jigsaws before in 
in just uh, like regular shapes, like your five by seven. Yeah. I think we did a, was ten, it a ten by, by eight? eight. Yes, ten by eight. Mm. Um, but never shaped ones before. I've not even seen nothing like this on the market. So they're ingenious. So I've just got a picture of my two daughters, um, and I'm going to use the star cutter to cut it out. So I'm just going to pop that down onto my board, yep. and then we're going to send that through. And then I've also got the actual picture as well. So keep a picture. You don't always have to do this, but I thought it'd be quite nice to do our box. So you've got the puzzle pieces yeah. in your box. So let me bring in my, and make sure when you're, uh, you see me there using my um, tape pen, what I would actually suggest is your adhesive sheets because adhesive sheets would actually adhere all the back of that. But what I have done is I've used my tape pen on all the parts because you do want the entire image glued down. Because otherwise, if I only put my tape pen in a few places, when the jigsaw cuts, that is gonna start peeling away from those jigsaw parts. Mm. Oh, we've got a, a, a shaky then. I thought that was my hand shaking, the camera was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so we're just gonna cut that through again. Let me pop my um, metal shim underneath. There we go. <laughs> I, is, it, is the camera taking, is it? I just said, uh, Charlotte, director Charlotte going, is there an earthquake? I'm not. <laughs> Something did just fly over the building, actually. It was like a big, oh, a big plane. It must have been, because as I looked up, the whole uh, camera was shaking, and I thought it was my hands. And, and, and our cameras are, um, are still in the... In the no one works the cameras. No. Uh, they're robotic. It's very, very All posh. very posh here. All very posh here, um, yes. The adhesive sheets, by the way, are in stock, which is good news. So that's an, oh, another brilliant. thing to add into your basket yes. then, Debbie, isn't it? Total. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I wish I'd really thought about it. Uh, I didn't have none at home, but what I should have done is ask for them uh, to be in the studio which would have been really handy so there we go that gives me my star picture so cool. uh, and then what we're going to do Ben what I've done yeah. is I've used that again just to cut through here uh -huh. and I've kept some of these pieces just some little bits and I cut through some orange card as well because I'm going to mat and layer that onto some orange not that you'll see the orange but you'll see just the rim going round so we're going to pop these two pieces together and then what I've done is you've got these those sentiments I'm just going to grab them here because these are just brilliant I mean they absolutely have been so well thought out yeah. of you know you complete me why it fits in when you were born to stand out I love that birthday wishes to you you give me butterflies I thank my lucky stars for Aww. you you are my missing piece you complete me and friendship keeps us together I absolutely adore these sentiments they're amazing so I've stamped this one out I thank my lucky stars for you because I've got my two girls there but what then I then done is I separated them so I just chopped them down so exactly the same but look at all these different words that you can get out of them so I've chopped that down and then just um, put my mat and layered onto some orange the lucky stars and the for you so I've got all these separate pieces that I can use and then we will just stick all this into place. Um, we are almost, uh, what are we, 25 minutes in almost, and 30% uh, nearly of the stock has gone. 30% of our launch day stock has disappeared. Wow. These are so popular. The thing is, uh, people who bought the previous jigsaw dies that we've brought out, they will be jumping in and grabbing these because they know how good they are. Yep. And then loads of, I think, new crafters, uh, people who've seen these for the first time are going, what a brilliant idea, such a unique um, kind of craft really if you like and I think loads of you will be jumping in as well and grabbing this deal if you want to go individually you can we've got a deal on the multi buy as well two for 23 pounds or 29 dollars um, if you want to go that way but I, I, I always say this I know but I just think if you go for the multi buy you will get a couple and you'll love them so much you'll then come back and buy the rest and you'll end up spending more money than you should have done in the first place so I would say go for the lot because you'll love it. And take a look at some of the comments that are coming in as well. Don't just let you know me and, and Debbie tell you how good these are. Look at all the other comments coming in on Facebook and YouTube. Um, everyone's saying how much they love these. Um, and we'll have a look at a few more comments in just a second and actually uh, tackle a few of your questions which are coming in too. But I love the fact that, and I said this about the last jigsaw dies that we brought to you. I just think if you are someone who takes a lot of pictures, on your phone, like we never print our pictures off nowadays, do we no, not? They just stay there. Not. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and then eventually your phone gets clogged up and you delete a load. This is a great excuse to print off photos, isn't it? Absolutely. So, Ben, what I've done and what I didn't do on my main demo is, and I want to do it on this one because I thought it'd be a really good idea being able to piece these puzzles back in, not just do it separately. Yeah. So I want to do it so it works well and I haven't cut this out doing that. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to bring this into play and slide my picture underneath. It's almost like you were saying earlier about that decoupage. Great idea. So I know then that I can pop that. It was an amazing idea. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Very good. Very so good. what I'm going to do is just get my piece here and I'm going to angle that onto here the same way. It doesn't matter if it's slightly out because you can trim your edges of your card and then I'm going to cut that through. Now, I don't need my metal shim because all I really want it to do is cut that outline and it is on paper as well. So, so we're going to pop that on there. So this tackles Kylie's question really. He says, is there an outline die with these? All of the images on the packaging look like there would be an outline die for each shape. Well, you've kind of, well, you're showing it you've now, you've already got it. You've already got it yeah, there. Yeah, you've actually got it there. But what it does do is it allows extra pieces to cut out as well at the same time. Yeah. And these are your decorative pieces. These are your pieces that you can put anywhere. So you can see here, if I just drop that down so all those pieces come out, we've then got all these pieces. And we're printing pictures. What we haven't thought about, and another idea that's just come to me, Ben, um, is that we could um, stamp, we could stamp and colour. Stamp and colour literally make our own jigsaw puzzles, couldn't we, without mm -hmm. even having to do anything else. So there we go, that fits much better. So what I am going to do, we're going to pop our picture on and I'm just going to make sure that it goes onto here, no problem at all. And then make sure that this piece will fit over the top. So I think that's about right. So fits perfectly. So we can take then our puzzle off and I'm just going to draw in that line so I know. So just making sure. So I'm doing all this so you will know this is how it will fit perfectly to yours. Do your daughters and tune in? Will they be watching themselves being stars on the TV? Uh, no, they will be working. Oh. <laughs> will you show them later on? Will you tell them you made a jigsaw out of them? Yeah, but they probably won't be bothered. They never bother mummies on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Are your children, do they ever like want to watch you on the telly? George, my son, I mean, he, uh, no, not, not a chance, not a chance. Daisy, uh, she's, she's very interested in it, um, but again, uh, whether or not, I mean, she, yeah, she can't get on Facebook or, or, um, or YouTube, but um, if, if I show her stuff, she's really interested and she's really excited about for when we move up here. She wants to come in the studios and she wants to, you know, um, come in and present. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, does she? No, she's, she's already said that. Um, she, oh, that's so she lovely. She wants to be a presenter and a hairdresser. Those are, uh, um, I don't know how you combine. Well, you, well, we combine oh, I think two. you can definitely combine those two, yeah. Yeah, so she's very interested. My son, not really. Uh, and my wife, yeah, I mean, she's very busy. Very busy. <laughs> very, very busy. Yeah. <laughs> she's very busy. Guess what I did today? I'm oh, very busy. Just tell me later. Right, so there we go. I'm just going to go for it. It doesn't matter if it's slightly out because what it means is it just means we can then start piecing in our bits of our puzzle into the top of our box. So let's have a look and see how we've done. So not too That's bad. Spot on. That is, yes. So popping that last one in and that gives us our star in the box there. And then what I've done, Ben, it let me take this out. I pinched some of the tissue paper that we had I had from one of my sub boxes. Oh yeah. So I thought this would be really nice to just pop in here. And then we can put all our pieces of our puzzle in. So you've got yourself a little homemade jigsaw puzzle. And, uh, and the picture on the box. That's cracking. So I'm just going to stick these on and then we're all done. So let's pop that on there. And it's got, I thank my lucky stars for you. And then we would just put our little pieces here, just a few of these little pieces on the top, just to show some of those uh, pictures. We should have, uh, yeah, we should have taken some pictures of the crew to make some jigsaws out of. You haven't got any pictures of Johnny, have you, or Charlotte over there? Well, I had one, actually, of uh, Johnny. I should did have you? used it. Yes, I did have one. It was one when, um, uh, it was when we did, 
Ah, oh, we did something at the studio here, but when it was when it was a different building. Yeah. Uh, and we did something, and there was a whole team that we uh, we were on. So oh. yeah, I think it was something to do with Craft Aganza, and we was in there. So yeah, oh. I think it was a live Craft Wars. That's the one it was. So, and there you go. So we've got our um, our box with our picture on there, and then inside we've got our puzzle pieces uh, to be able to do them with. So I just love that idea. Really, really super cool idea. I think that that is a great demonstration to show you how you can use these for crafty purposes, but then actually use them just as jigsaw puzzles as well. You've, the fact that you've got the box there, uh, and then you've got the puzzle uh, within the box as well. We are approaching a, th a third of the stock already gone. The, the way this is going at the minute, it's going about a percentage of the stock per minute of the show. And if it keeps going that way, you can do the math as well as I can. This is going to sell out if it keeps going at this rate. Um, loads of you saying how much you love this collection. Uh, Christy Mahoney says hello everyone uh, I bought this collection yesterday I can't wait to get it um, Kathy saying just ordered my jigsaw dies I'm looking forward to seeing how to use them uh, Robbie saying I love the idea about using something other than a photo for the image uh, Maureen says I made uh, big sister jigsaws for a then new baby brother was born a uh, big sister who was four years old loved them that's the thing with these as well great for people of all ages you know for the kids and the kids at heart as well um, Adriana just saying I use the regular jigsaws as gifts to the teachers in my department but teacher appreciation week last month as a surprise they love them uh, no doubt these will pop into my cart again yeah you know you think about end of school term so it's half term next week here in the UK then what another six seven weeks it'll be the summer term if you're looking for ways to kind of you know give a nice gift to the the, the teachers again these would be fab uh, Peg saying I made a five by seven puzzle for each family member who came for Christmas breakfast and I made the little Christmas deer Santa boxes to put them in uh, and put them at their place setting uh, and the disorganized crafter on YouTube says I love these jigsaw puzzles for my nephew uh, making home decor pieces um, for my autistic nephew um, if you have made any jigsaw puzzles already by the way with um, the, the uh, jigsaw dies we brought up previously do send in your pictures we'd love to see them we would love that uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you can send those pictures to us and we will certainly uh, show everybody else as well um, there was one question actually that's just come in from who was it uh, Adriana saying could you please share the sizes of each of the puzzles I think we can probably uh, do that for you um, so if we go along we've got your star here so that's 4.4 inches by 4.1 you've got your speech bubble which is 4.6 by 3.6 then you've got your butterfly which is 4.3 by 3.5 why am I doing it in that voice? I'm not quite sure. Uh, you've then got the heart, which is a four by four. Then we've got the balloon, 4.6 by 3.6. And last, but by no means least, the puzzle piece is 4.7 by 3.6. Oh, indeed. Oh. <laughs> And one quick question before we move on to the ink pads, uh, which has come in from Rosalind. Debbie, is the adhesive on the Xyron strong enough for these puzzles? You reckon? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Put your photo through the <laughs> Xyron. Yeah. I try not to mention it because we haven't had them in stock no. for so long and we're no. still waiting. Um, but yes, hopefully one day we'll have it back in stock. But yeah, if you've got a Xyron, definitely put them through there. They'd be perfect for that. And another little tip, um, yeah. uh, put your, when you've put the Xyron through the Xyron, uh, put them through your embossing uh, mat on your Gemini uh, and it will really adhere that sticky back to them so mm. so if you've got a Xyron mm. crack on crack Absolutely. on with your Xyron crack on uh, crack on uh, my lover <laughs> <laughs> that's the way you said it Crack on. Um, the ink pads, right, talk about the Xyron being out of stock. These ink pads will go the same way because we've got, I mean, low double figures left of some of the ink pads and, and these kits as well are gonna fly. Um, so the quick dry inks, we've put together um, two little bundles for you. So again, if you wanna get these, go swiftly because as I say, these are uh, the last of them really. Uh, this is your brights, all right? So if you wanna go for your brights within the collection, you have got your spring meadow. Uh, you've then got your gorgeous orange, Ooh, and then you've got your upside down um, ocean blue. So those are in the quick dry, 11.97 or 16.68. And as I say, stock wise, we've got low double figures available of those, saving 20% plus another 20 if you're platinum. The other little bundle that we've got on the show as well is this one here, uh, which is your um, anthracite. Did I say that right? Good. Um, you've then got on top of that your uh, pumice. 
still do pumice stones? Is that still a thing? Yeah, pumice stones. Pumice stones. And also, uh, you have got... <laughs> oh, sorry. Twilight grey and pumice. Yeah, pumice stones. Used to, they used to be popular back in the... My mum used to have one for her feet. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to have one in our bathroom. Yeah, Things like, like a volcanic skin. stone, isn't it? Yeah. Just rub it on your feet, mm. get all the crusts off and stuff. <laughs> sorry if you're having your lunch. Uh, that is the... <laughs> That is uh, that is your girl. Uh, uh, that is your. Yeah. <laughs> They're all making noises. Uh, that is your greys. And again, we haven't got a huge amount. Uh, hopefully, you're not. Hopefully, you're not having pasta for your lunch today. Oh, Ben, shush. Sorry, Palmer's Oh. oh. Johnny had pasta. Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> um, <laughs> no Parmesan. Let's have a look. Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? The mount board, by the way, is monstering out of the door. Now, why is the mount board monstering out? Because the mount board is a perfect partner to go with your jigsaw puzzle. Basically, if you want to make these jigsaws, the quality of, you know, the jigsaws that you buy from the shops, you need to go for the mount board, right? Um, because it really, really is that good. You get a 10 piece set. So you've got um, five colors, two of each uh, for 9.99 or 14.99. So you've got your cream, you've got your brown, your gray, your white, and your black, two sheets of each. Um, but I would multi-buy this if I were you because I, I remember when we had the original jigsaw dice for a bit and the mount board was out of stock and it seemed to take ages to get it back. So whilst we've got it, get it. Uh, you can get it for $9.99 or $14.99 or any four for £30 or $40. Stock up, even again, if you think saying to me, well, I've actually got quite a lot of the mount board already, um, get more because it will go out of stock. And, and when it does, you'll be, <laughs> you'll be sorry. Um, right, keep those comments coming in. Um, send those pictures in to... Uh, Adriana says, thank you for the measurements, Ben. You are welcome. That is what we are here for, live and interactive this Friday afternoon. Uh, and Fran said, I did some puzzles for my... BFFs. Best friend forever. Thank you, Johnny. I did, but I just. You I didn't. All right. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Charlotte's just called me an old man. Yeah, BFFs. Uh, did some puzzles for my best friend. What is it again? B best friends forever. Best friends forever. Um, it was too much fun watching them put them together. Uh, one had to help the other one. Too funny. That was like Greg on Wake Up Call this morning, honestly. Um, he was trying to put the, uh, the puzzle together of the tiger. It took him ages and he thought it was a lion. Uh, so, uh, uh, let us go back to uh, the lovely Debbie. Now, I tell you what, if you, if you saw that first demo, you're probably thinking to yourself, Debbie is going to have to go some way uh, to beat that demo for a demo of the show, which will get you voting on in just a bit. So where are you going next, Debbie? Right, first of all, I just want to recap on the mount ball because yes. it's A4 in size, and I just thought, I wonder how many shapes we could get into one piece. Oh, yeah. So one piece of mount board, I've got four of my shapes on here. So, and also anyone that has the mount board into, in, uh, sorry, who has the past puzzles that we've had uh, the bigger size ones they will also fit on this a4 board as well right what we're going to be using here i'm not going to be using any of them oh. i'm going to be using our heart one uh -huh. i love this one it's i do cute. love a heart Aww. and i think it's good for so many different reasons for so many different occasions not for so many reasons <laughs> although i'm sure it's good for for lots of reasons okay so i'm taking a piece of this mount board and i'm going to trim this i'm just going to take the feet out of my big guillotine and i'm going to trim this to eight and i'm just going to double check yeah eight and three quarters so there we go eight and three quarters of an inch uh, and you can see i'm using my guillotine because I know our crafter oh I've knocked everything I'll know that crafters companion uh, guillotine will cut through that no problem at all and then I'm gonna do it seven and a quarter so popping it up to our seven and a quarter and just cutting that last bit off there so that gives me my base so very strong. You can see how uh, strong this mount board is uh, to cut through, mm. and it's perfect for your um, for your desert for your. Um Puzzles. Yes. Couldn't think of the word then. Right now, this piece that we've cut off the side, this I was uh, when I was sort of putting this together, um, I was thinking this would make something else. So I'm going to keep that to the side. So now I'm going to be bringing in my piece of card, then my paper, Aww. and I've got. So I love this picture. Aww. So this is my little Ava, my granddaughter. Yeah. And this is my Ruby. She is just 
so adorable. <laughs> her little face. She's so cheeky. She's What's very going on cheeky, there? yeah. Uh, and Ruby's very sassy. So I've got a picture here, and then I've got some pretty papers from our quintessentially English. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would go because she's got very. Um, her bedroom is very sort of Laura Ashley. Um, ex yes. You know, so it's got really. And I thought this paper would go really lovely with yeah, the picture. It does. So I'm going to first of all tape my picture down. I'm not too worried about the jigsaw part because I am just going to use my to start with so what you could do if you didn't want to waste anything what I would suggest is that you make yourself um, something to put on you could do it underneath to start with because I'm going to cut my uh, heart at the side but I want it to go through both pieces because okay. I want it to cut that aperture out so I'm just going to pop my papers down there and then I'm going to stick this into place and position where I want my heart. So we're going to have that at both sides. So this is a little gift that I'm going to make for my granddaughter. So I'm going to pop my heart there. I know that will fit perfectly with the photo next to it. And then I'm just going to find myself... Are you actually making it for your granddaughter? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you've done that before with me, and I really like that, how you kind of, you know, inspire us with your demos, but at the same time, you're, oh, doing, have you, you're, them for something, you're, doing, yeah. you're doing things to kind of give away to family members Absolutely. and friends. Absolutely. Why not? Um, and i tell you why, Ben. Ruby loves puzzles. Yeah. Absolutely. How just, old is Ruby? Like, she's six now, mm. and she absolutely loves puzzles. So um, I thought I would do this, but we'd do it slightly different to having it in a box. So let me just take out the bits that I don't need. We're going to pop that through. Now, because I'm asked it to go through mount board and my card, all I'm going to do is send it through so when it cuts and then reverse it. And that way it will just give it those two cuts just to help it on its way. And in fact, if you wanted to give somebody an impossible dig jigsaw, um, this is going to cut those papers out. So you'll actually have a jigsaw with all those flowers. Can you imagine trying giving that to someone to do? That's brilliant. <laughs> I love that. Like the baked bean jigsaws that you get. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. yeah, the impossible jigsaws. That is definitely what this <laughs> one would be, isn't it? <laughs> so let me carefully take away that. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine putting all those pieces together? So I don't actually want these pieces. We're going to cut it out again. Look at that. Can that be the play your craft right game tomorrow for me and me and Craig? Oh uh, yes, I'll leave I, it for you. Yeah. We'll give it to. We can pretend if Craig's not watching, he doesn't know. Yes. Let's just pretend this is the play your cards right. We're, yeah. I'll cut another one later. Brilliant. But we'll have you a finished one. <laughs> yes. And then give it to Craig. Yeah. I love that idea. Shh. Don't yes. don't tell him. Having don't seen how bad him. he is at jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our photo here. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I want to make a back in because what I want to make is something that Ruby can then put the puzzles in and follow a picture so I thought it would be really nice now the only thing with that is I think this paper might be a bit too because it's about 160 maybe uh, so what I would say is uh, put a piece of card on the back of that as well yeah uh, which is what I will do and then that will just uh, just for the long longevity of it really I and mean, then just to say as well, the, the multimedia dies, of course, and for people who missed it earlier on, if you're using these, you need to put them through either your junior or your Gemini, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes. So I'm just popping that into place on the back there. And then that just gives this piece here. So then when I come to doing the actual puzzle, so this time I've stuck this, I've stuck the same photo, but on the mount board, I can then put this over my little girls. So let's make sure we cover them both there and send that one through. And then that will create a jigsaw puzzle. And then, Ben, I then had, this is when I then had the idea, where could we put the jigsaw pieces? So this piece of mount ball, we're going to make a little holder at the bottom. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, so then I thought what I'd do is uh, put some holes in it and some ribbon, hang it up on a wall, and then she can just do the puzzle whenever Aww. she wanted to. So there we go. I literally love that idea. Like pulling that out. So this puzzle will then fit perfectly into place. And because we've actually cut it out of mount board, yeah. I mean, actually, it'd probably stay in there, wouldn't it, anyway? So we've got that piece there. Then we've got the photo at the side. 
Oh, I can't wait to give it to her. She's going to love it. Have you, um, <laughs> have you, uh, do you get to see them a lot now? Things are yes, a bit yeah. More open. Now things are more open. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And in fact, we're spending the day with them. Or well, the afternoon, I've got my last vaccination. So I'll be fully vaccinated on Saturday. So I'm very excited about that. And then we're spending the afternoon and evening with them. We're having a games night. Oh, I love it. Yes, so really looking forward to that. Right, so we've got this part finished and then I just wanted to show you, and I know you're wanting to see the dies, but I think it's also good to just be able to show the sorts of things that we can do with them. Oh yeah, we've got ideas. What I'm gonna use actually is my uh, scoring, uh, sorry, the scoring board on my um, guillotine. And the reason being is because uh, I can guide it better where I want it. So I know that this is uh, one, two, three, inches so on the so I've just lined it up to between my two and my five inches so on my three inch mm -hmm. I can really just feel where that's going to be because it's quite hard to um to score mount board I can imagine yeah but on this it seems to because it's bigger and, and thicker it seems to score better than on the scoreboard and then we're just going to go down and then what I would suggest is that you do that on both sides so you will turn it over and do the opposite side and then I'm going to score just an inch in on the side just there so if I bring this one in I've then just cut in between the lines here and folded it up and I'm just going to fold all this in together but before I do that let me just bring this to the side I'm going to I've got some strips of paper uh, where's my there's my longer strip 35% of the stock gone it's flying out the door. We had a big stock as well, launch day. You know how much stock we have for these. So the fact that that amount has gone, um, wow, loads of you have checked out. And if you're too busy watching these demos, we will give you time to check out in just a mo. Yeah, absolutely. We are nearly done. So all I'm doing is putting a strip of paper across the top there, and then I'm gonna put one on the inside because then that's gonna cover up sort of the whiteness. So just using my tape to do that. Will you give this to them tomorrow then? Yes. Are you, are you, and what are you? Are you a nan, a nanny or? Nanny. A nanny. I'm a nanny. Yeah, I'm a nanny. I wanted to be a nanny. You wanted to? Yeah, my nan was, my mum was the granny and I was the nanny. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, my mum uh, got in there first when it was, it's always, it's a weird conversation, isn't it? When I mean, you have like your, your, your first, like children, it's a weird conversation to have with your parents or your, parents in law as to who's going to be what yes. but my, my mum was straight in there. I'm nanny I yeah. want to be nanny fancy nanny I wanted to be a nanny yeah mm. and it's weird because I'm probably the only one because they've got quite they've got lots like they've got granny they've got nanny Irene um they've got nanny um who's that? nanny honey yeah now she's called nanny honey because her dog's name honey uh, what? Nanny Irene is obviously because uh, uh, because her she's called Irene, Irene, so it's Nanny Irene, and the dog was called Honey. Yeah. So that, that other nanny's dog was called uh, Nanny Honey because her dog was called Honey. So they associated Nanny with Honey, the dog. Oh, but what is she? Actually, what is her actual name? Yes. Her actual name, yeah. um, Elinda. Oh, right. <laughs> you have to think about that for a second. You're so used to calling her Nanny Honey. Wow. So they call her Nanny Honey, which I think is lovely because oh, the dog's cute. called Honey. Yeah. Aww. So there we go. I'm just pulling in all those sides. And then what I'm going to do, I am going to reinforce that with tacky glue because tacky glue is going to keep that really strong. So just popping that on. Or actually, in fact, I'm going to do that. I've got some red liner tape to hand and it will stick instantly. So I'm going to put red liner tape because it's very strong so we will just pop our red liner tape onto the back of our little box it's just nice to create little projects isn't it for whatever we're doing uh, and especially because I know that lots of people um, give these sort of things to their grandchildren mm. or their small children. Be interesting to know how many people are watching that have grandchildren or young children um, and if you craft with them because um, yeah, my Ruby is very, very crafty. She loves crafting. It's that sort of right age, isn't it? Really, I think where they, yeah. the children sort of tend to engage a little bit, uh, a little bit more. But what I say, a great kit to be able to have if you have got kids or grandkids, especially as I say, we have term coming up as well. Um, you know, stuff to do with them. And I, I, I so think it's such a great that idea. Round. And then we've got all the little bits here that we can then pop in our little holder at Love the bottom. That. 
And there we go. It's like a little jigsaw trough. Yeah. And then we can, she can either put that on the wall or hold that. But uh, yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> really love that idea. Loads of comments um, coming in about that as well. Uh, the heart idea, such a great idea, says Fran Hayne on YouTube. Uh, and loads of you telling me how you've bought this already. Karen uh, Morgenstein on Facebook. I put my order in already. Uh, did it this morning. Uh, Yolanda says I've ordered the entire collection yesterday. Um, oh, and lots of you now coming in telling us uh, your Nana names. Yes, let us know on those as well. <laughs> so Mary Pat 1000 is the Nana. Uh, Sue King on Facebook is a Nana Sue. Uh, keep those coming in. Interesting to know. Interesting to oh, know. I love that. Um, we're really busy for this collection. I am not surprised at all. Over 35% of the stock has gone. Remember, you're making that saving wherever you are. So £66 or $85. Platinum members, it becomes fifty-two eighty or $68. But remember, we're doing our spend more, save more events. If you spend over £30 or $30, you get an extra £5 off as well. That is one transaction per customer. But if you've not yet done that, use your um, £5 discount on this, because then that would come down to $47.80 or £63, which is amazing. So uh, if you've got this in your basket right now, chuck in some mount board too, because you'll definitely want that, uh, and get ready to check out your baskets, because we're going to take a two minute break. This is time for you to get those baskets checked out. Don't miss out on this collection and we'll come back with more great demos with our Debbie in just a few moments time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Oh, the conversations we have uh, when you're watching videos. I was just admiring uh, Debbie's new lipstick that she's got. As I'm sure everyone, I'm sure everyone's <laughs> noticed. I noticed it. Did you not know? I noticed it straight away. Johnny, you didn't notice it. Car, how did you know? Pink, nice and pink. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> oh, Johnny's full of compliments for me always. He just said I didn't notice her lipstick because I get lost in how beautiful her eyes are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're uh, supposed to pay me compliments like that, you know, Ben. <laughs> well, I said how nice your hair looked and you haven't had anything done to it apart from you've washed it, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but... <laughs> I <f> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Ben. Dear. You're welcome. You're looking lovely today, I think, is what we've established. <laughs> Thank you um, for all the lovely comments coming in, by the way. Thank you for all the comments coming in about... Um, I don't know if we asked for these, but I like them, um, about what you're called. So Catherine, for example, says, I always wanted to be granny, and I am. 
Uh, Charlotte Bruce on YouTube says, I'm a grandma. Uh, and Terry Tom Anderson on Facebook saying, I have a five-year-old granddaughter. Uh, she loves my Gemini Mini. We craft all the time. I'm known as Grandma T. I like that. Yeah. Sounds a bit more sort of hip, doesn't it? Grandma T. Yeah. Uh, Wanda saying, I have five grandkids. Uh, they love when we have a craft day. I let them loose uh, from all of my crafters' companion items. And lots of love for that last demo as well that you did, um, Debbie. Uh, Robbie just saying, that is the cutest idea, Debbie. I absolutely love it. Um, I just think this is a great collection. And you guys are saying it as well for like crafting with the kids, getting the kids, you know, away from their, their screens. If your kids are anything like mine, you know, they're always on their video games and stuff. It's nice to get them doing something a little bit different, isn't it? And this is the kit I think that might just kind of, you know, pique their interest in craft because it's so accessible. It's so easy to do. And like Debbie was saying, you know what? Everyone loves doing jigsaws. Everyone loves doing puzzles. Um, and, you know, imagine. Uh, printing off those pictures. Imagine having you know pictures of the grandchildren or the kids, and you know getting them to make jigsaws. All like we saw with the previous collection. I loved it. Um, like Sarah had um, some pictures that the boys had drawn, and she made jigsaws out of those as well. So it's encouraging your kids to really get crafty, and uh, you know start making these amazing jigsaws. And as you can see, under supervision from you, obviously, it's really really simple to do. This full collection that you're seeing here is all of the jigsaw dies that we've shown you. So six dies in total. You've got your butterfly and your um, your speech bubble your star you've got your heart and your balloon and the um the missing piece the, the jigsaw puzzle itself you get those sentiments the glue's included too and it's a great deal we were just chatting on air um, off air as well about the mount board and how that is a definite must to go for too um because this this makes your jigsaw puzzles like like professional if you know what i mean so when you bought jigsaw puzzles from the shop before it's that quality it's that sort of feeling to it so it's really going to be um you know finishing off your uh, your jigsaw puzzles in style you get uh 10 sheets you get five different colors two of each of course um in those five colors there so your black your white your gray your brown and your cream 9.99 or 14.99 for a 10 pack or if you want to go for any four for 30 or any four for 40, uh, you can do. So that is definitely worth popping into your, um, your basket. But yes, um, keep those questions and comments coming in. Anything you want to ask us uh, and also any pictures as well of any jigsaws that you've made. We would love to see them. Uh, we've just had a few come through actually. They're uh, popping them together now. We've we got them ready now, have we? Oh, look at this. Go team. Uh, here we go. So this is Maggie's. I love that. Oh, that's so That's cute. her grandson. You definitely don't look old enough to be uh, a nanny, Maggie. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, that's why. That's I was thinking, wow, she's really young. <laughs> <laughs> but such a lovely picture. Uh, so that's uh, grandson Oliver. Uh, with mum uh, and he worked out how to do the puzzle as well oh and that's it. brilliant it is it's such a learning thing for the kids they love it and especially when it's got their picture on it they want to do it I know and uh, Michelle's got the previous jigsaw dies as well is that is that because you can't oh I <laughs> <laughs> I, was actually, I was literally going to say, yeah, could you not put it together, Michelle? <laughs> Are you doing a Craig yeah, on us? Yeah, you, you got, did, you got you Craig to come go. round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But do keep sending those in. Absolutely love those. Love to see what you guys have been doing. And also, if you've already previously got the jigsaw dies, uh, let everyone know why you love them so much. I've got a few more finished samples here to show you the kind of things that you can achieve. They're so, so cute. I absolutely love them. The, um, the missing piece jigsaw puzzle as well I think is cute but the heart is going to come into its own I mean seriously you're going to be using that time and time and time again I love as well this balloon I mean how great is that for a um, you know a celebration card look at that it's just so different um, I, I just absolutely love these and, and the other thing to say about them is is they're not um, sort of one trick ponies either you know what I mean? it's not the kind of kit that you're just going to use once and then put away to the back of the cupboard and never use again. You'll be coming um, back to these time and time again. I, I firmly believe you will have these on your craft desk ready to go because they are just so super versatile and so super different as well. Grab yours now whilst you can. We're almost at 40% of the launch day stock has gone so super busy, but you don't want to hear me rabbiting on because you'd be thinking, well, it's half the show's gone. We want to see some more demos, please. So I think our Debbie is uh, ready and raring to go to the other side of the studio. Are you? I am, yes, yes absolutely. So this 
time I've got a piece of card. Now I've cut my A4 card by 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. So 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a quarter. And then I've scored at 3 inches and 8 and 3 quarters. And that gives us this gatefold. Now you could make a card like this on your Ultimate Probe. If you just have your scoreboard, that is the measurements. Uh, and this gives us this front gatefold card. Now, uh, if you want to use your die as an aperture like we were doing before oh, yeah. so I'm going to bring in this butterfly one what I'm going to do is position it on the front here uh, and I'm going to centralize that line going down the center of my dragon uh, dragonfly butterfly uh, and then I'm going to tape it into place but I'm only going to tape it on one side so we're just going to tape it to one side because what I actually want to do is create an aperture in the front but with it folding back so I'm going to tape that side down and then we're going to open that up so open it up there, and then we're going to run that through our larger plates in the Gemini. Because what I want it to do is to cut that aperture out so we can then put our picture on the front. So, and all I really need it to do is just cut out the aperture on the front. I'm not really worried about the pieces inside for now. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> it, was, it was my tape. <laughs> and I need it for the next part of the demo, so I had to run across and get it. So. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so that's the first part done. So I nice. only used one piece of tape on that oh, one. Dear. I'm not too worried um, about that one. It's the next one we need to make sure that that uh, doesn't yes. slip. So what we're going to do is pop that back in and you'll be able to work where the lines are there. Lock, it sort of locks into place. Yeah. But this time what I'm going to do is make sure that we tape this down a bit more so it doesn't move at all because we want that to be precise because the next part we're going to do is cut that puzzle out but I want that to, to actually see that through the centre of the card. So it's just a, a really nice way of creating an aperture card uh, without... Um, uh, doing two pieces of separate card. Now, of course, you could have done two separate pieces and just cut your die once, cut it twice. But I just figured if you're going to be cutting it once, if you're going to be cutting it twice the other way, you might as well do it so you've got just one piece of card that folds over uh, from an A4 piece of card. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, so, Maxine just saying, thank you, Debbie, for showing some of my samples. Oh, uh, they must be at the side. We'll have to show. Oh, it might be the, some of the ones that we've shown on the back. Yeah. Um, our, we have an amazing design team. We Maxine really do. does lots of designs for us. Yes, she does amazing, amazing makes. She's saying they're fabulous so. to play with and everyone will love them. So oh, there you go. that's Someone really nice to hear that. Actually, we very rarely hear from our design team. It would be lovely of you to, um, so to send actually, messages in. Yeah, we don't because, you know, without you, we wouldn't have these amazing samples to show. Maxine joined me. Uh, Maxine, I've got such a terrible memory, but you joined, you came in for a, uh, not came in, but on Zoom or whatever we use. What do we use? Do we use Zoom? Uh, Skype. Oh, Skype. Yeah, you joined me on a show a while back. Was it a craft house? Let me know. Maxine, my memory's terrible. But hmm. yeah. Probably craft house, I would have thought. That's yes. who we normally have the guests in for. So I love this picture uh, of Sarah, me and Fee. Fee. Um, yeah, it just, it's, it was our birthday and I believe it was our 14th or 13th, 14th and we were doing a promo uh, and I just loved it. We just had such a good time. There was balloons everywhere. So I absolutely, it really makes me smile, this picture. Uh, so I'm just going to place my butterfly over the top, just making sure I get our Fee and Sarah as faces in um, and then we can run that one through now because I've done my butterfly centralized just normally I'm going to keep that normal on the picture because what that will do will then fit right into the center of where our aperture goes let me just pop my uh, metal shim under there oh there we go Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, um, Lord Adam has just wandered into the studio, shaking his head, and I thought, oh, no, what have I done now? What have I done now? We didn't put the on-air light on outside. Um, so he's just, he's just gone and done it. Not that it matters. There's nobody here. Everyone's gone home. Bank holiday weekend. Way! They're oh, all out the door. Of course. They've they're all, all gone out. early on a yeah. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> no one will be walking in here now. I can tell you that much because they're all walking out. They're all, all walking, walking out. out. Yeah, all, all right. walking out. We Isn't won't it? be walking out till 9pm tonight. No, we will not. Because we're here for the long haul. We're, we're here for you. We are here for you, the top team. 
the top team are in. Johnny, Charlotte, me, Debbie, we'll be here till the bitter end tonight. Oh, oh you're yes. saying that we're the top team, the best team, the number one team. He says that then. to everybody, Johnny does. He says that to everyone. I don't believe a word he, he says. He does say that to everyone. Mate, just yeah. so do I, I have to say that. Oh, so do I. <laughs> so, what is the truth? Nobody will ever know. Right, the next thing I want to do, Ben, is I want to get that aperture into my card. Now, because I've layered two pieces of card and then put another piece of card, I didn't want to do that all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is lay my card down there, bring back this die, and then we're going to cut that into that piece. So I'm going to just grab myself some tape again and pop that on and run that through and then I'm going to do the same with the other piece so um, if you wanted to just um, read out anything I'm quite happy to just do my cuts in here before we construct before we construct construct our oh, card construct. I thought you said before we construct, construct. before we construct <laughs> Uh, we always uh, strut our stuff on we, here, yeah. Uh, we're, we're hip on Crafters we, TV. Aren't we? We're um, down with the kids. We are Although down. I did say up with the kids yesterday, and I thought, no, it's definitely down with yeah, the kids. Yeah, definitely. Even I know that. I know. Dear, oh, so dear, I'm really oh, not down with the kids. No. <laughs> um, Sharon just saying, I have 10 grandchildren and they all love doing crafts, even the two year old. Of course, she only gets special markers and crayons, and we ensure that she doesn't try to eat them. <laughs> Always good when you're crafting with, with two year olds, isn't it? They don't end yeah, up eating absolutely. what they're supposed to be colouring with. Um, Yolanda is saying, You can use these puzzle dice for so many occasions. Uh, I'll probably make a card using the puzzle piece die from my cousin uh, who has an autistic daughter. Um, and Maxine, there we go. Yes, Ben, I did join you and Debbie on Craft House. Uh, it was there a blast. So, anyone wanting to do it, go for it, as everyone at CTV are brilliant and make you feel so welcome. Ah, oh, that's so lovely. Yeah. You should definitely come and join us, by the way, because I feel, um, I don't know, it might just be me, but with some of the shows, you know, uh, recently where we have the interactivity, we've not had as many people as we, we, as we should do, but we are all very nice here, um, most of the time. Um, but but I, I, <laughs> I encourage you to join us on Crafty TV because it's a lot of fun. Um, you get to meet the back, the back room crew as well, you know, <laughs> Johnny and Charlotte, and they're all right, you know, despite what everyone says, they're okay. They're the, um, they're the best bit. <laughs> they, but, but then you get to chat to them, and then you get to come on the shows with us and have a blast. I mean, I mean, who would not want the experience of chatting to um, producer Johnny? I mean, come on, It'll make your week. Uh, Crafters TV guest at craftscompanion.co.uk is the email address, so you can join us on Craft House. Where else do we have? Uh, Monday Makers. Uh, what else do we have? Craft along. Oh, loads of them. You can you can join us, and it's it's fun, isn't it, Debbie? It's fun. Ah, uh, it's so much fun. What I would say is, please, if you want to yeah. join us, uh, email in. You might think you're being cheeky or saying, actually, I'd like to be a guest on Crafters TV. Uh, if you've got anything that you love, please email in because uh, we would love to genuinely would love to have you on on uh, on Craft House on anything. But Craft House is the one we tend to uh, want to come into your home and uh, and do that. And if you're worried, because I know, Ben, that some people do worry about technology and stuff like that, mm. uh, we've got people here that can walk you through it we and do. Uh, let you know if you, if you what, what you need or, you know, and can tell you if it's not what we need. So, you know, please email in because it would yeah. be great to have you on. Charlotte's a tech whiz as well, so if, if you're lucky enough to get uh, Charlotte and Johnny on the... You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, absolutely. And it's one of those things, honestly, the amount of times that I've heard that like, people will join us and at the start, we've chatted to them before the show, they're like, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm you know, really sort of apprehensive about this. By the time they've done it, they're like, oh, it's brilliant, I want to do it again. Yeah, it's all I can so liken it true. to is when you've... Um, you go on a roller coaster and you're in the queue for the roller coaster and you're like really, really nervous. You're thinking, oh, and you get to the front of the queue and then you get on the roller coaster, you're absolutely petrified. Then you do it and you're like, that was brilliant. I want to do it again. And you're back in the queue again. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. That yeah, is what it's totally. like. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we, we don't bite. No. Johnny sometimes does, but nine times out of ten, he's, he, he's all right. Yeah, he's only right. his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, Johnny, you bite your tongue. You only bite your tongue. Yeah, exactly. As long as he's had his... Uh, his can of fizz that he, you hear him crack open. Feed him and water him, he, he's fine. He's, <laughs> he, he's, 
<laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Feed him and water him. <laughs> right, so once you've got this far with your card, uh, what I would suggest is holding these pieces down and putting your glue. In fact, I've got Glo Gloria's here today. Oh, because, yay! Yeah, I, you know, it's yesterday I didn't have my... Um, I didn't have my bag, so she's back she in town. She made a brief appearance last week. We've lost Brenda, though, Zimthy. I don't know if you know where Brenda's oh. gone. She's now disappeared oh. after last week. Oh, that's weird. She might, may she be in, may she be, may, she, may be. she be in the other studio. Oh, that's a very good point. Not even checked. Maybe she is. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is go round. So I've glued all that outline. And then what we can do, because I am just going to glue my puzzle piece into the centre. And then we can bring that in. And actually, if I'm clever, we could just slide that into place, couldn't we? So let's pop that there. There we go. Slide that over. And then we won't have to do too much paper piecing. And then that will just go straight into the centre. Pull the card round. I'm thinking, oh, that could have gone so horribly wrong. <laughs> Knew it wouldn't. <laughs> Pull that one over. And that gives me my central part there. That's such a cool idea. And it just gives that gorgeous aperture. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I mean, look at that. And then all I've done then, Ben, I'm going to bring in my extra pieces that I have um, put all these bits in. And I use this one because I thought it was so Sarah. Why fit in when you can stand out? Yes. So let's pop this at the side. And she's definitely made us think that very way, which is amazing. She's having a well-deserved break this weekend. <clears throat> yeah, she's gone to Devon, hasn't your part of the woods? Yeah, my, yeah, she's uh, just, up, just up the road from, or down the road from where my <coughs> sister lives, actually. She's gone to, um, to Exmouth. Very nice part of the world. It's a heck of a drive. I tell you what, from where she lives, though, that is a heck of a jaunt. You have to leave quite early, wouldn't you? Oh, especially today as well, Bank Holiday Friday. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even thinking because it's up north. See, down near me, I think it's a, um, it's a bad, uh, it's quite yeah. a long drive. The but, world um, and his wife will be out on the roads today. And yeah, um, yeah it's a, it, must, it, must be, it must be 360 miles from where, she is yeah. to where she's going. And everyone heads that way, don't they? Nice bank holiday weekend. It will be uh, biz, biz, busy down there. But there we go. Look at that. So gorgeous. we've got our gorgeous aperture through the front of the card and then that beautiful puzzle. I mean, it's just something totally different, isn't it? I, really, really lovely. And I love the fact, you know, if you've seen already the three demos um, that Debbie's brought to us, all very different, all, um, I don't know, just sort of thinking out of the box just a little bit, if you excuse the pun, out of the jigsaw box. There's lots of different ways that you can use them. And I just think a show like this is great because if you were thinking to yourself, all right, well, I know how to kind of use these, but I, I don't know kind of then what I'd do with them other than maybe make boxes for them and put the jigsaw puzzles in. You've already seen some fantastic inspiration, some fantastic ideas and not only are you getting this for a great deal today but you've then got this show that you can come back to and recreate all of Debbie's demos that she's done and all of the ones she's got to come in the next 45 minutes as well. Let's show you some other goodies that we've got on the show that you might want to pop into your basket today uh, like for example the Knitwit Positivity card pad. Love a bit of Knitwit uh, and this is absolutely stunning. Um, this one came uh, of course with the Positivity collection. It is 36 double-sided sheets uh, in a whole whole host of gorgeous colours for you. Um, 250 GSM uh, and you're also going to get your uh, white stamping card included there as well. That's 300 GSM, A4 uh, and 60 sheets of that included too. So uh, kind of a good time to stock up and actually uh, to get that uh, knitwit paper pad in there as well for that price is phenomenal 19.98 with 25.55 is the deal on that that's even before you get your 20 percent off if you're platinum uh, we've then got your uh, bright and pastels uh, your textured card stock again uh, 230 gsm here and a whole host of different colors you've got 36 sheets uh, within each of those really really gorgeous colors you know if you're looking for your more sort of um uh, bright papers uh, for the uh, sort of spring summertime makes this is absolutely perfect uh, and that textured effect that you've got in there as well is stunning um, you're going to get both of those for uh, 29.98 or 37.42 uh, that's a 10 pound or 12 dollar saving and then of course your 20 percent comes off that if you are platinum we've got the heavy duty acetate available for you on the show as well 220 micron 30 sheets available of this um, in this collection and that is 9.99 or 30 
and then we've got the uh, ink pad collections for you as well we showed you these a little bit earlier on we don't have a huge amount of stock of these you've got the uh, the bright collection in the quick dries as i say so you've got your orange your spring meadow and the ocean blue 1197 or 1668 there's another 20 percent that will come off of that if you're platinum already saving 20 percent for everybody and then you've got your gray collections nine pound 58 um if you platinum uh, and then your greys you've got your twilight you've got your anthracite and you've got your uh pumice as well um 13 uh, sorry 1197 or 1660 that's 1334 in dollars uh, if you're shopping with us in the us but again go quickly on those because we don't have a huge amount of stock lots of lovely comments still coming in about the uh, the jigsaw dies uh, loads of you saying that you've already bought these and that is why i can tell you that uh, we are at 50 percent of the stock has gone super super busy i am not surprised for one super versatile collection and so easy to do as well that's the thing it's another one of those kits which allows you to make like real wow projects but you don't have to be an expert to be able to do it you know you have got the ability even as a beginner to get this home and uh, begin creating stunning finished cards stunning jigsaw puzzles you know you've got the ability to be able to get this home and get crafting with the kids and the grandkids you know printing off all of those um, photos making your own kind of designs making your own jigsaws um, and just creating something super stunning with all of these you're going to get the um, heart you've then got the uh, little statement as we call it the speech bubble um, this gorgeous butterfly which you saw with Debbie in the last demo is included love also the um, balloon you've also got I think I'm missing one the balloon is fantastic you've got your puzzle piece there and the one that I am missing is which one I'm missing there oh the star the star is the sixth one so you get all of those included you're also going to get your um, glue and you're going to get a set of sentiments as well your puzzle sentiments and these are great like Debbie was talking about earlier on they've um, it's all been thought through brilliantly you complete me why fit in when you were born to stand out which we've just seen birthday wishes uh, I thank my lucky stars for you you give me butterflies you are my missing piece you complete me and friendship keeps us together really cute um, that is available as, uh, individually as well by the way if you want to go for that uh, and get these on a multi-buy they're on a two for 23 pounds or two for 29 dollars but go for the lot because as i say chances are you will come and uh, go for the multi-buy and you go oh, i love these wish i bought the whole collection and you'll end up spending more than you should have done go for the collection 66 pounds or 85 dollars works out at 52 pounds 80 or 68 dollars but as i say because we're doing our spend more save more event if this is the transaction where you decide to go oh, Oh, I'm going to use it now because it's one transaction per customer over 30 pounds or dollars you'll save an extra five pounds so if this is the case it'll be 47.80 or 63 dollars today uh, and that uh, spend more save more deal is on going until Monday so plenty of reasons to shop um, lots of love coming in Christine saying love 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 fabulous demo says Maxine and Eleanor saying I have six grandchildren and I do crafting with two of them the eight-year-old loves making cards with me uh, she also loves using my alcohol pens and I also let her use my metallic pens too that is definitely love there isn't it Eleanor letting um, the kids and the grandkids uh, use all of your crafty goodies um, keep those comments coming in keep the pictures coming in too and uh, we've got about 40 minutes left so let's get cracking with another demo uh, is this number four Four. Four, yes. Are we going to get to do them all, do you reckon? Mm, yes, Most yes, of them. we've got the balloon one. I think after this one, well, in fact, I think we've only got the balloon one yes, left to do. But we can always just cut through them. I've got some photos so uh, and show some more samples. In fact, shall we just quickly do that again? Let's just show some of the samples so we can see uh, just how gorgeous they are and what the design team have done. Uh, and think of all those things that you've got, all those memories that we've all got. And Ben, you were right when you said that we don't print photos anymore because they're all stored on computers yeah. for us to actually put 
put them into something like this uh, and give to someone it means so much more. I'm definitely going to be using this one uh, for all my friends, that's for sure. Uh, the star one's great. Again, I know I say it all the time, but I love the shape of the star because it is that real celebratory feel. But it, it's also just, you know, when you've passed something, when you've passed your exams, when you've passed your uh, driving test, anything like that is great. But I think it really does spring to mind the children, these. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they're great for all your adults and that. I mean, actually, how cute would it be for your child to actually make a picture and send it to their grandparents that they could do those jigsaws? Love that idea. So yeah. many different things that we can do with them. And actually, just printing our sentiments out, uh, just being able to do that. I love the idea we were saying about earlier in the show about um, having that puzzle, but you could actually do this whole card, but without that top piece on it, and put that inside that they could stick their own pieces into the jigsaw that then says Merry Christmas or Happy Birthday. Mm. Um, just really sort of nice designs. So absolutely gorgeous designs. So thank you to the design team for doing those for us. So what I've got now is I've got myself a piece of uh, magnet. So you can get these magnet sheets, um, and they're quite cheap on the internet, which you can just cut up. People put them on their walls, so the back of their doors so they hang their dies on you've also got them in your folders as well so although you don't want to really chop them up because they're for holding them but oh, you yeah. can buy sheets of magnets mm -hmm. um, and all you need to do which I didn't do when I was prepping my demo I actually stuck it onto the magnet part so the magnets now will all go back to front on the front oh, so, right. so make sure you stick it onto the white piece at the back and it will make them magnetize now the only reason I thought I would try the magnet is because if it will cut through mount board it's bound to cut through um, the magnet sheets but actually it was a little bit trickier to cut through the sheets but uh, you can do it so I wanted to show you because if it's something that you want to do I think it's always good to show how it can be done even if it takes you a few attempts so I'm just making sure I'm covering the back of my photo to start with to place that onto the back of that magnet sheet so and I'm just rubbing it down on the back so that will stick first firmly in place because magnet is almost like a rubber um, and quite a thick almost sort of plasticky rubber so what I would suggest and what it did take me was a few times through the Gemini adding in your metal shim yeah. and actually I'm just wondering now it might not work but whether to add it might be too thick to put in your um, uh, your magnetic shim okay but I think it will be too thick but I am going to try it without the metal shim but putting in that extra shim for this so I'm just going to place that over the top now the one I did I used the jigsaw um, puzzle piece because I love that one but what I actually thought because I made that little one for Ruby and these three children are my grandchildren when they were younger oh, okay. so this is little Ava this is my Charlie he lives in Mexico so he's my little Mexican uh, grandbaby okay. grandboy uh, and then uh, we've got Ruby here so these are all my three grandchildren I thought Ruby would love this so I'm going to do a heart one how is it with charlie uh, how old's charlie yeah. he'd be three in july Aww. yeah three in july and actually i was just thinking of him when um uh someone said about the who was just, we were just talking about that's not going to go in there um so i'm going to take that out uh, when uh, people are on the beaches because we went to the beach for the day the day Charlie was due and I remember we were pacing up and down the beach was he, just, was he born in Mexico he was born in Mexico yeah mm. my my son is married to a Mexican uh, lady mm. so um, uh, yeah so all me it's because I'm talking sorry and I'm not I'll stop asking you questions right so I put my metal shim back in and then I'm just gonna there we go so I put the metal shim back in and then we, we can cut it so um, yeah, and I remember it being a really hot day like three years ago in uh, July and we were all on the beach sort of pacing up and down just waiting to get that phone call to say he'd been born and then I bored my eyes out on the beach because he'd been born. <laughs> so, and I'm going to show you. So, you can actually, we've you've got that really well, our Charlotte. So you can see that that's cut through 
but it still could do a bit better. Yeah. So if I pull that around, you can see it's almost like that. I mean, that's quite thick, but it's plastic. But because I want these to go through a little bit more, I'm going to cut them just a couple of more times to put them through. So even though it does it, I would definitely suggest just popping it back through to give it that extra cut. And you might even find that you need your tiny little scissors just to cut around some of the pieces. But I think it's definitely worth Worth it when you can make your own fridge magnets. That's a cool just, idea. Yeah, so let's take this one off and take that out there. Oh, that slipped a little bit. But yes, yeah, so that has given me my fridge magnet and actually, oh, hey, that's cut that's really well. Isn't yeah, it? cut really well. So just twice through it. So actually, I've tried the, the butterfly one before um, and, uh, and that needed to go through three times to have all these bits off. So if I bring that one and you can see I did the same photo, but cut it through the butterfly one. So it definitely works. And I think these are great to have and then because this is magnetised, so you can see that will stick to there when we yeah. can sort of stick all our magnet bits there. So really worth having. Uh, and then that way, this is what we made earlier in the show, if you've just been watching, to have our little plimp. So I can now put those pieces in. Uh, and you can cut different pictures, but using all that heart one, and each one of them will then fit into this design. And I've just had another idea. Oh, yeah. I, I could stick a magnet on the back of that, so then those would stick into there yes. as a magnet on the back. Mm, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love the idea there of the go. fridge magnet there as well because you could, you know, like normally you have little messages left. Do you have little messages left for you on the fridge at home? I do. So you, oh, that's lovely. No, it's not. No, it's not those type of messages. It's normally like get milk or something. <laughs> no, not like that. But you, you could really annoy someone, couldn't you, by p printing those messages onto a little jigsaw die. <laughs> so not only have they got to put that together and they'll find out. They think, oh, this is so sweet. Put it inside the little heart and then have something like we need more squash or something potentially. Not my greatest idea today, but I thought I'd share that with you. Um, <laughs> you the de the decoupage idea was brilliant. You though. can't beat that, can you? You're not going to beat that today, really. Peaked, I peaked far too early. Um, <laughs> this collection, though, as I say, is flying out of the door. Uh, let's give you a chance to check out your baskets right now. Um, there is some details coming up of how you can shop and watch with us here at Crafters TV. If you know all about that already, now's the time to check out your baskets. Off you go. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Uh, 
Um, I tell you what, there's so much love coming in for this collection. Loads more of you have just told me that you've checked out your baskets as well. So um, I'm, I'm not surprised to hear that over half of the stock has gone here. Just a couple of quick questions because I'll forget these otherwise. Um, someone's asking the thickness of the mount board. Thickness of the mount uh, guessing though uh, because I would let, let me get my ruler let's have a look see if I can uh, two millimeter two mil thank yeah. you um, that was Patty Samantha was saying how was the shadow to some of the puzzle dies made in the samples how was the, the shadow? shadow I think it was the first one that you showed had like a like a black background behind oh, it? Oh, that's done by... Actually, I'm saying it's done by hand. Yeah, a lot of them are done like that, aren't they? Mm. Um, uh, yeah, that's definitely done by hand. You don't see it, first of all. So, yeah, well spotted. But if you lay them down onto the black card, that's just been cut round. Yeah, okay. that has been cut round. Uh, but actually, the heart while I'm looking at, you might find one of your nesting dies goes yes. behind there. Yeah, because that one looks pretty precise. So I bet one of the nesting dies will fit round there. Um, uh, that's Maxine. And Maxine, if you're still watching... Maxine is. Uh, yeah, so let us know uh, what you used on the back there. I'm pretty sure you probably used one of our nesting dies. Is this one of yours? Maxine, that's yours as well. Just wow. tell us if you hand did that. So, there you uh, go, Maxine. Yeah. Well, you can answer that question for us. As Maxine said, what a brilliant idea using the magnets. Uh, Maxine, let us know how you put those cards together, please. Uh, Gillian, just before we move on, has uh, said, what thickness of magnetic sheet did you use? I have sheets that vary from... Uh, 0 0.4 to 0.8 mil. I would use your lowest one and you'll right. get a perfect cut. This one's quite thick. So I would say probably about a point, yeah, 0.8, I would have said. This is quite a thick one. Um, so your 0 0.4 would be perfect. That would cut through no problem whatsoever. There we go. I keep those questions coming in. Anything that you want to know, we're here for another half hour. You and the next half hour as well, by the way, have got to let us know what your demo of the show is. Uh, we'll squeeze another demo in before that, though. But listen, if you have just joined us, what's all the fuss about? Why is half of the stock gone? Well, quite simply, I think we've done it again here. I, I know I always blow our own trumpet, but we have brought you such a great collection. Something so very different. Something really out of the ordinary if you're looking for um, a really versatile collection something which is going to allow you to create those you know real wow projects this is a collection to go for because not only are these multimedia jigsaw dies going to allow you to create those jigsaw puzzles that you can make your own boxes for those jigsaw puzzles that you can print off all the photos on your phones and your tablets and your laptops that you've just been storing away and done nothing with but they're also brilliant for creating really really standout decorative cards as well well, um, what I love about this is we said multimedia dies, so you're going to find that these will cut a whole host um, of different mediums. You've got some really interesting shapes with these as well as you're seeing. You've got the 10-piece star, you've got the 12-piece um, the uh, statement, 12 pieces in that butterfly as well. You've then got um, the heart, you've got your uh, balloon, and you've even got the little uh, jigsaw puzzle piece there too. So easy to use as we've seen. You get the sentiments with this collection as well. The sentiments have been tied in nicely, so they're not just like random sentiments that we've chucked in there. Sentiments, things like, for example, you are my missing piece as you're seeing there. Things like, friendship keeps us together. Things like, you complete me. Really, really been thought through um, perfectly has this collection. And again, you're just seeing a snapshot of some of the ideas and some of the things that you can create but if you have just joined us uh, and you're thinking yes, I quite like this collection I'd like some more ideas for goodness sake make sure you go to YouTube and um, bookmark this show basically subscribe uh, and then you can add this show to your playlist and then you've got uh, already what have we done four five demos I mean just really really different out of the box ideas for you to give you so much inspiration when it comes to this collection I think it's great over half the stock has gone as I said uh, you're getting this home today for £66 or $85. You've already saved over £21, um, over $18. You will uh, get another 20% off of your platinum, which is £52.80 50, or $68. And then, as I said, because we're doing our save more, spend more, it's one transaction per customer where if you spend over £30 or $30, you'll get an extra five off. If that's the case here, uh, you can get this home for £47.80 or $63, which is great. And honestly, 
I just think you'll be coming back to this time and time again. I also like the idea as well that if you are someone who likes to um, you know, make a little bit of money on the side, make to sell, the fact that you've got all of these as well, you can almost offer like a personalized, uh, you know, but you can get people, you know, if, if people are sort of coming to a, a craft fair, if you've got a stand or whatever, they've got their own pictures, uh, you know, as long as they're their pictures, they own the right to the pictures, you can then make puzzles for them, you can make cards for them, totally personalized, make them totally unique. I love this collection. Um, if you're going for this, one thing you definitely need to add into your basket, which pretty much producer Johnny is telling me everybody is doing, because this mount board is flying. This is like, this is top quality, right? This is, all I can say to you is, if you bought a jigsaw puzzle before, um, it's that quality. It, you, you make a jigsaw puzzle, uh, you want it to be the, the quality of one which you would buy from you know, the toy shop, whatever it might be. That's what this mount board is going to allow you to do. Um, half of the stock of it is gone. It's a 10 piece set, so you're going to get um, two pieces of the, uh, the ivory, two pieces of the brown, you've got the grey in there as well, you've got the white and also the black. So two pieces of each, which gives you your, um, your 10 sheet pack. I would stock up on this because as I say, it does tend to go out of stock as quickly as we get it back in. Uh, 9 or 14 .99. it's a good price, but almost for like 10 is not enough. You'll, you'll, once you see how easy it is to use these, you, you'll want more. So either get more, get a couple, or go for the any four for 30 pounds or $40 deal, and then you've got plenty uh, to be going on with. Also, something else which is proving really popular, a craft room essential, as we've been chatting about it, is the Scoremaster bundle. So you've got the Scoremaster board and the Envelobox creator uh, with this as well. Just so super handy. I mean, I would have thought the majority of you have these already. If you haven't though, um, if you're looking to be able to make, um, you know, card shapes of all sizes, if you're looking to be able to make boxes of all different sizes, that's why you need this collection. And also uh, that Envella box created too is just so super handy. What I love about this is the fact that you've got everything that you need, including uh, your matrix in here as well for the Envella box creator. And we chatted about this earlier on. Do you know what? You can make all of these different cards of sh different shapes and sizes, but it's always very difficult, isn't it, to find envelopes that fit? Not anymore because you've got this Envella box creator, which is going to allow you to make a whole host of um, different size uh, envelopes. Um, and, and it's all in there for you. That looks complicated, but it really, really isn't. It's like, uh, what was Craig likening it, liken it to? Like a periodic table. It tells you uh, the card stock that you need. Um, it tells you um, how to use the scoreboard, the envelopes creator. It's so, so simple, uh, and you'll be making boxes in absolutely no time. £19 or $19 for that collection. And actually, if you go for it today, you've got 50 bonus points with it as well. So absolutely worth going for. It is a craft room essential, I would say. So if you don't have one, uh, grab one today because it will be well, well worth it. Uh, thank you for all the messages still coming in. Loads of love for this show. Um, read the shadows on the cards that we saw. Maxine on Facebook says, um, I drew around the black card and hand cut them. So there you go. That's how that shadow uh, was achieved. Uh, Pamela says on Facebook, I've ordered three of these, the balloon, the puzzle and the star. Uh, I can't wait to use them. You're going to have an absolute ball with those. Um, and let's just chat very quickly, Debbie, about um, what machine we can use these in, because Kathy's asking, will these fit in the, in the Gemini Junior? So what machine could we use the, um, the dies with? Yep, Gemini Junior, Gemini and the Gemini Pro. Yes, there so we the go. three biggest machines. Yep. So. Um, Alan is saying, I really love those shaped jigsaw dies. I have to get them. Get them now, is what I would say to you. We've got, uh, what, 25 minutes remaining. We've got another demo to come. You're going to be voting for your favourite demo of the show. Good luck with that, by the way. That is going to be tough. We've had some great demos today, uh, but I think we are almost ready. Mm -hmm. Is this the final one? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Take it away. Yeah, absolutely. I do have another photo we can cut out. So, oh, yeah? uh, But yes. Uh, so what I wanted to show you now is how we can uh, create a card with these. I've picked one that we had. This was our first first day down at Create and Craft when we joined back to Create and Craft. Yeah. Uh, so there's uh, a lot of our, uh, you'll probably recognise them all. I recognise them all. People. So, and poor Nigel is going to be cut out of oh. it. So, yeah, because what you can see is I've got two pictures identical, but I want them to match up. So I want to have the same cut in for them. And not because I'm going to cut one of them, but what I've done is the balloon shape that I've got on here, yeah. I've just gone around with my knife my craft knife just gone around so I can place it in the the right place for this one Aww. so I'm just gonna have that on there take away our bottom one was you sorry was you looking then 
no, thing. I was just Here saying, it was. I was just I'll leave them on there while I'm cutting. Well, and actually, I've got to glue this in place. So was and I just remember go. some of the crews. Andrew uh, in the top right hand corner. I can yes. see Joe's head there. Uh, <laughs> used to work on the floor. I can't see who that is. Sort of half uh, of the head in the top right. This, that one. That's Joe. Don't know who that is. He's not there anymore, and I can't remember what his name who, was. So who's that? Apologies. That Where? this one here. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Who, I don't know who that is. No. That's Andrew, and then you've got Angela who's um, one of the crafters, but she also does gardening. Of course, Martin, Nigel, like you said, uh, down the bottom, who's going to, well, not, not make the cut, unfortunately. And then I recognise <laughs> the other two in that picture as well, the two smiley faces at the bottom. I recognise those two. The double Ds. The double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> There's a show. There's I've never a show said that need. before. That's what we, we need a show on, the, on Crafters TV. The Double D show. That's funny. <laughs> Late night crafting with the Double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine what it would be like if you and Debbie got together and did a show. That would We have done shows chaos, before together. It? Yeah, it is a little bit of chaos. Yeah, bless her. I love it to bits. Oh, yes. me too. Me too. My, uh, my crafting TV. TV wife, as Your I now have to TV call her. TV wife, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, she got a little bit miffed because Joe always calls me his crafty yeah. uh, TV wife, and um, yeah, and I, I and she didn't like it. She no, didn't like well, it she at didn't. All. She, I didn't. Make, she didn't ask me. I, she just told me that I was a. She just told a TV you, husband, yeah. which is fine, you know. I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'll take that. And take funny that. enough, Nigel um, from Create and Craft, Nigel May, he yeah. was telling me only last week that um, people used to think him and um, Stephanie from Create and Craft were married because they really? used to always be each other's uh, TV screen wife and husband. Yeah. Can I turn my boards around because they're getting a little bit um, battered Bowed. as I'm using them lots. So just popping that into there. Isn't it funny what people think? Yeah, really funny. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. No, they're not going to go. I'm oh. going to grab myself just some new boards, if I could have got some. Um, just to reiterate, as we're heading towards the last 20 minutes, now is a good time to be checking out baskets. We are super busy. I think that the, the penny has, uh, has dropped here with everybody going, you know what, got to go for these. Um, I just think the price is great as well. 66 or 85 and you're not paying that are you 52 80 um, pounds or 68 dollars uh if you're a platinum member so it's a really really good day to be buying we're almost at 60 percent of our launch day stock has gone that is hundreds of uh hundreds of these already flown out the door and i'm so pleased i honestly can't wait until you get these and from what i've heard as well our deliveries at the moment are super speedy uh, so touch wood, uh, you should get these very, very quickly indeed. I can't wait to see what uh, you guys do with these. It's always nice to see your pictures. So make sure whatever you do, if you've ordered this today, you uh, get crafting with them straight away and get sending those pictures back in because we love to see uh, what you've been up to. Um, it, it sort of inspires us as well that we see uh, all of the things uh, that you've uh, made. And I can't wait to see all of the jigsaw decoupage. Jigsaw decoupage. <laughs> so what I'm going to do on here is we're going to pop in that same picture. So what I want to do is just make sure that where this picture is, we're going to pop that. That will fit underneath our card. So you can see I've matted and layered my beautiful cardstock. Then I'm going to bring this down so I know that will fit into place. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to take that away and we're just I'm not worried about it fitting too much into there just so I know that the photo will fit in there so then this one can then fit in there does that make sense yes <laughs> everyone fitting into each other but just making sure that I've done enough to line it all up so popping that one on and then we will run that through which is your favorite of the jigsaw dies Oh, there's a, there's a hard one. Really? I absolutely love the heart one. Yeah. I, I just think there's something really nice about like those circle shapes and a heart is really my sort of symbol. I love that symbol. Uh, but I love the jigsaw piece. I think it's oh, yeah. fun, it's quirky. Uh, I think it's just ingenious to have a, a, a jigsaw piece one. Um, it's yeah, the most popular individually, Johnny's just telling me. You, and you can go individually if you want to. We always just talk about the main bundle because that is the, the best deal, if you like, to go for the whole lot. Um, Another one for Craig? <laughs> oh, don't. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Leave that out. Because what, we'll, yes, what we'll do, yes. we'll say round, round one is this jigsaw. <laughs> round two is that jigsaw. Oh, please, can we do that tomorrow, Johnny? We'll, scr we'll, scrap, we'll scrap the game that they've told us we've got to play. And we'll, we'll do the, uh, the jigsaw challenge. <laughs> I think we might get told off by the bosses. 
yeah. 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 Uh, might do. Right, so this one that we did before, remember we put in that same cut line because we put them in together, so we knew that that cut line around that image, it means when I place this over the top, I can place that in, I can cut all this off, so I'm not worried about that, but it means when I take this jigsaw out, it will fit directly into this piece as well. So what I am going to do is just put in some tape to tape around those edges, just to hold that into place, and then we can trim out the actual photograph. Yeah, poor Nigel, didn't get a look in at all, did he? Oh. My old dressing room buddy. Oh, was he? I didn't realise that. It was, it was me, Nigel, and uh, Dan the man. Dan the man. What a, what a threesome that was. I can imagine. Um, I, w I, I wish I'd win a fly on the wall. <laughs> I could just imagine what was being said in that room. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because we, we had like the, the smallest dressing room there and um, the most people in it. Oh, okay. Where, where, where it's like other, yeah. other oh, people. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. Other so people had these with big two. ones with like, you know, lazy boy chairs in and stuff. It was the three <laughs> of us, like, you know, if we we're all in together trying to get chains and stuff. But there you go. And then three of you. Yep. So <laughs> Good job we liked each other, really. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Got a bit cosy in there at times. <laughs> so I'm just mat and layering some pretty papers. Um, I think we might even have the celebration pad on because it's a really we great do. one with all the balloons. Really lends itself to Everyday this celebrations. balloon shaped one. So again, we're just using our tape pen to adhere all our papers. Yeah, it's so much fun, this balloon paper one. Yeah, we've got that on the show with the um, balloon stamps and uh, sentiments as well. If you uh, go to the show page, you'll be able to see the details for that one. I think it's is it available individually as well. Oh, yeah, if you, if you search for it on the, uh, the website, yeah, search for Everyday Celebrations uh, and you'll be able to grab that one. It is a nice um, paper pad, actually. Very handy for this one as well, actually. In fact, you've got the balloons there and then the... Uh, the balloon die to use as well. Yeah, definitely. So just for quickness, I'm just using my foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Oh, sorry, I was reading. Oh, you shouldn't have, you would have got away with that. You would have got away with that. I was just Three uh, reading the message I coming in. Tell you that so what way. did you say? I, I said, I'm just using my foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Foam, foam on, on a roll. roll. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. I'm on a roll. Hey! I can't you. believe I missed that. I know, I can't believe you missed it. Dear, yeah, oh dear. Not next just time, twice. Thrice. Three times. Uh, next, time, uh, next time that happens, guys, by the way, I want you to get on the, uh, the microphone and join in from the gallery. Three part harmony. Be good. <laughs> they don't sound too eager. They don't sound that eager, do they? Really? <laughs> They're like, um, yeah, all right, Ben. <laughs> Whatever you say. Shut up, Ben, yeah? Shut up. Shut up. Right, so we've got our puzzle, and then what I thought would be good was just to take some of the pieces and put them back in. So let's just, let's say we have this piece at the top, so we can pop all of those in. So I'm going to just pop my glue. Let's bring in Gloria, and then just... Give a squiggle over those pieces. I mean, you could just, um, I'm trying to think what you could have, where you could just put the pieces in the card, couldn't you? And then, I haven't done that very well, there we go. <laughs> I was thinking, why didn't that fit? <laughs> you didn't even know it did you, Ben? <laughs> I wonder why you were squiggling a little bit. So I was thinking about what you think, putting the pieces in the card? I'm actually putting the pieces into the card. No, what I was yeah. thinking but was that not Putting them sticking in. them on, but, but putting them on inside the card. Yeah. But you, then people could do them themselves, couldn't they? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about putting them in like a little sh like a little little dome shaker, but that wouldn't work because then you wouldn't be able to get them out, would you? No, that wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, so let's just must then be pop those. Let's do. Oh no, that makes Debbie look terrible. <laughs> 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 Not that that's funny, but. <laughs> Well, it sounded funny from that side of the studio. <laughs> That's better. Now I've got the piece in the... Your face looks a bit wonky. Have you... Your face looks a bit wonky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does look a bit... Perhaps we'll just pop my face back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's, oh, that's a little that bit. That look better? It looks a little bit better, yeah. Let's just, bit, let's just stick them all in, shall yeah. we? We'll stick, just leave a couple, couple yeah. out. I've got one to show you, and then I can show you how 
<laughs> yeah, let's not make me and Debbie look silly. <laughs> As I said, as I thought, I'd never say, Debbie, your face looks wonky. <laughs> 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 That's like when you have a fill-in, isn't it, <laughs> at the dentist? <laughs> I've only got a fill-in. Yeah, oh, yeah. And you don't want to talk to anyone because you have a wonky face. <laughs> my uh, my Laura's, I shouldn't laugh, she's been in pain all this week because she's had a um, an abscess. Um, oh, and, yeah, and, her, and she's gone today actually to get it all sorted out. But yeah, her face like swelled up. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. <laughs> no, you're I wasn't. Horrible. I didn't laugh at her, but like, it's funny, isn't it? And then, <laughs> like, oh, okay, you are it. <laughs> yeah, uh, horrible though it sounded horrible it's i've horrible. never had that touch wood i've not had one of those thankfully but it was in a it was it was an old root canal apparently that had become infected not that you want to know this look at me talking about pumice stones and root canals yeah, oh dear i'm a bag of fun this afternoon aren't i but oh, yeah toothache is the worst i've literally i've had one really bad toothache oh, don't. where literally i cried through the even while she was doing it i was cry, sobbing and I couldn't, and then I like, kept gulping because she was trying to do a tip. I could, it was so painful. I couldn't, literally oh, could not stop. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't very nice, Ben, at all. Happy afternoon, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh. a balloon to make us feel better. Yay. <laughs> Cele celebrate your root canal. Hey. <laughs> so we've got those last little pieces and I'm just going to have them to the side so you can see they've sort of come out of those pieces. So that's what my plan was to do. Have some some of the pieces around the edges so it looks like you want to then pop them back in and then I'm just going to use my chunky glue if I can find it my glue glue my glue or no not my glue or my glue <laughs> glue and glue glue and glue <laughs> 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 Go to the zoo, Johnny, you say. <laughs> and then we're going to just pop our ribbon into place there on our balloon. Yeah, our kalou, no, kalau. <laughs> kalau glue. <laughs> Kalou glue, Kalou glue. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. So just a nice card that you can do. And I will just bring in the one that I was going to show you, just the ones where we put the pieces round the outer edge. But really lovely design. I have to tell you, these uh, dies are just amazing. I'm going to be using them all the time. And I'm definitely going to be crafting with them with my granddaughters, that's for sure. Yeah, there's loads of um, our crafty friends saying exactly the same, how many of you are going to be using these with the kids, with the grandkids chrissy middleton says i caved i bought the whole set uh, mount board ink plus another die set i've been looking at since they were launched well that's a nice basket full of goodies isn't it uh, and tammy says i've just ordered the jigsaw bundle i love these now is the time to be ordering that uh, bundle because 60 percent of the stock has gone uh, you get the six dies don't forget the six different shapes so you've got your heart you've got your balloon you've got your butterfly you've got your um, statement you've got your star uh, and last but by no means least you have got your balloon um, and of course you get your set of stamps as well your puzzle sentiments which are all um, done to basically work perfectly things like uh, why fit in when you were born to stand out you give me butterflies uh, and you complete me um, you also get one which isn't on the packaging, which says we can solve anything together. Um, that does come included with the uh, the stamps. You'll also get your glue included in there too. That is a rather nice buy, if you ask me. But uh, whilst you're checking out your basket to know what you're saying, what's going to be the demo of the show? Well, that is down to you to decide. So let's have a quick look at all of uh, Debbie's makes that she's done so far. Here they come. Right, let's have a look. This one in because this was our first demo, oh. just in case you wonder where they are. But that's really Craig's card, and I just wanted to show you how uh, we're okay. doing them. So, my first demo was obviously the puzzle box. So, number one, yep, well. and then number two was was it the butterfly one? Mm, I feel like I'm missing no, one. No, two was, was it that this one. one. It was so it was my granddaughter. So, number two was the puzzle piece one, yeah. Uh, number three was the butterfly, and then number well, actually, number four was the, the little magnets one, but we're not going to do that uh, as one. Okay. And then number four is uh, the balloon. So one the box, so, two the card yeah. with the trough. One with the trough. That sounds a horrible <laughs> word. Two with the, what do you call it? It looks like a trough, like a It does bot. look like a trough, but yeah. <laughs> a, a holder. Trough. A holder's a better word then. <laughs> One, two, two three, three, and four. Right. Let's give you five minutes to get your votes in. One, two, three, or four. Uh, 
and let's give you time to get your votes in. But also, now is the time to check out those baskets. We are heading towards the end of the show. Please get whatever it is that you want. If you've got stuff in your cart, now is the time to check out. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Good guy, that guy, great guy, great bloke. <laughs> um, I just want to quickly bring to your attention uh, the mount board that we've got. Pretty much, from what producer Johnny is telling me, everyone who's going for the jigsaws is buying mount board. That is a sensible move as far as I'm concerned, because this is the mount board that you want. High quality mount board that's going to make those jigsaw puzzles the absolute business and that's what you need because if you're buying these amazing um, multimedia dies you don't then want to be using like second rate um, products to be making your jigsaws from so the mount board is what you need 10 pieces you're going to get two of the ivory two of the brown two of the gray two of the white two of the black that equals 10. Uh, I would buy that more than once because you, once you find out how easy it is to use these, you'll just go through this like you won't believe. So buy it twice, buy it thrice, buy it four times. Um, what is that? What is it after? Twice, thrice, what's four? Quatrice. What, what? <laughs> what is it? No, it's not, is it? You go once, twice, thrice, for, for, for thrice. <laughs> We don't need to know, I'm just interested. What is it? Anyway. Oh, fourfold. Thank you, Johnny. Fourfold. I knew he'd know. Um, any four, fourfold. <laughs> fourfold. <laughs> Why is that funny? Fourfold. Once, twice, thrice, fourfold. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shut going, we've got four minutes, Ben. Shut up. Uh, there's the deal there. <laughs> Wait, what's five? Five it must be fivefold. It must be fivefold. Anyway, no one cares, Ben. Move on. Just before we announce. <laughs> That's really got me. The demo of the show. Uh, we're going to have a look at some more finished samples with Debbie. I, I just put this puzzle together and actually it was quite easy. So I don't think we will give it to Craig. It'll be too easy. <laughs> well, it probably won't be. Probably won't be, to be fair. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show you some more samples, Ben, before we finish up because these are such 
fabulous designs. Uh, lots of different ways that you can use them, which look great. Uh, using them to, I mean, obviously these have all been done in cards, but you've seen throughout the show, we've used them to make little puzzle boxes, we've used them to make little puzzle holders. Uh, but these are something really different that capture the, your imagination, but that are also great for anybody that you send them to. I love the fact that you can do them on the card and then cut them again and have those puzzle pieces inside the card. So whoever the recipient is, uh, is able to put these pieces together. So many different ways. Uh, this is one of my favourite cards. I, I just think mm -hmm. the image is beautiful. There's an image of my daughter's family with um, her husband walking down. Uh, they went to Disneyland in Paris uh, and the Ruby's on the, his shoulders and it would look lovely with this sentiment. The walk towards the castle. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so, so lovely. So yeah, just these are so beautiful, but so many gorgeous designs that you can do. And also don't re remember that you can make your own puzzles. You think of all our stamps that we have and everything you can do. And I was actually thinking we've got a um, Colour Me Happy show coming up later on. We could do a re-inking background, cut it out, put some of our new um, glaze over the top, which is from Cosmic Shimmer. We can make our own little uh, coasters. Oh, yeah. Yes. really cool with these because you can use mount boards so mm. um so many great ideas um from our design team and of course from the lovely debbie as well over the course of the last couple of hours but what has one demo of the show i hear you cry what has ha what has made demo one. of the show one demo of the show. what one has made what one has demo one. of the show how many cards were there to choose from there were four fourfold i will tell you it was not number one not one it was not number four. It was not number four. So it was number two or three. And the winner of Demo of the Show as voted for by you was... Number two. Ah, my little grandbaby. Yeah, I like that one. I think yeah, that was my favourite. Yeah, looks lovely. It's just a great idea, isn't it though, Ben? Especially as you're cutting the mount board and all these pieces come out and they can stick them back into there. Like, yeah, I have to say, I do quite like this idea. I think, uh, yes, all great minds think alike. I think that's the one I would have voted for um, as well. Listen, we oh. have got... What? I just realised I was going to take it to give to Majora and I can't take oh. it home. It's got to go well, on the, on no. the cabinet. No, what you need to make sure that you do is do an even better demo later on in Colour Me Happy to beat that. Oh, uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> what do you think like that for? Oh, I'm not sure I've got any great <laughs> demos coming up later. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> make sure you join us. I'm sure it's going to be a really good show right Debbie it is going to be an amazing show I'm literally so excited I've been playing the last couple of days with all the re so it is going to be an amazing show and tune in because I've got lots of stuff to show you just take it oh no 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 just take, just take it no 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 there's some better cards up there anyway Debbie to be fair. no not really uh, <laughs> I'm going to go before Debbie comes over here and hits me. Uh, we will be back with uh, Colour Me Happy in just a couple of hours' time. What a great show. Make sure you check out your baskets. You can continue to buy after the show. And we'll see you in two hours' time. Bye for now.